So from the Jablonski diagram, there are two main types of processes. Radiative processes and non-radiative processes. In radiative processes, there are two types, fluorescence and phosphorescence. Under non-radiative process, there are two types, internal conversion, inter-system crossing, we have seen in the Jablonski diagram. So, what are the differences between fluorescence and phosphorescence? It involves transition from S1 to S0 with the emission of light H2. This emission, this fluorescence, it occurs in 10 power minus 8 seconds. So, it is instant emission. Fluorescence is called instant emission, whereas phosphorescence is called delayed emission. It involves transition from T1 to S0. Okay. And this, this transition is a slow process, whereas this fluorescence, this transition is a fast process. It occurs in about 10 power minus 8 seconds, that is 0 0.0000 small, this is short, this takes place in very short time, this takes place in long time. So this is a slow process, that is, it is, the light is emitted after some time, this is, the light is emitted immediately, okay. So why this is a fast process, why it is instant emission? Because the transition S1, S1 to S0 is allowed. Okay. This transition is allowed. Whereas the transition from T1 to S0 is not allowed. Because this is triplet state to singlet state. Here uh, there is no change in spin multiplicity. Here there is change in spin multiplicity. Okay. This is forbidden transition. Therefore it is slow process. Another important factor is that once irradiation, once uh, light is stopped, when irradiation is stopped, it disappears. Fluorescence will not appear once irradiation stopped. For example, uh, in car and uh, in two wheelers, you have fluorescent stickers. Once light falls on it, you will, see, you will be able to see car is going. Okay, so we will be very careful. Whereas phosphorescence occurs even after irradiation stop. Okay, there are clocks, uh, phosphorescent clocks. Um, it will be visible in the night. You can see the times, uh, numbers, etc. in the night. They are coated with the fluorescent materials. It occurs even after irradiation stop. What? Let us now. What are the uh, similarities? What are the similarities? Compare and contrast. Both are radiative processes. Then the energy of absorption is greater from Zablonsky diagram, fluorescence. The energy of excitation is H nu1. The energy of fluorescence is H nu2. And uh, some of the energies are lost due to in internal conversion here. Some of the energy is lost due to internal conversion plus uh, inter-system crossing. Therefore, um, the energy of phosphorescence, the energy of emitted light due to phosphorescence is very much smaller than the energy of excitation. It is due to loss of some part of energy due to inter-system crossing, uh, internal conversion. We have studied earlier. There are two non-radiative processes, internal conversion and inter-system crossing. We will see the differences and similarities between the internal conversion and in inter-system crossing. Inter-conversion involves transition from S2 to S1 with the dissipation of heat energy okay whereas in, in inter-system crossing it involves transition from S1 to T1 
with the dissipation of heat energy the internal conversion is a fast process because it undergoes transition from singlet excited state to another singlet excited state here this is singlet to triplet state this is um, not allowed according to spectroscopy the singlet to triplet transition is a slow process this is forbidden whereas the singlet to singlet transition is allowed therefore it is a fast process it is a slow whereas this is a slow process it occurs in about 10 power minus 11 second it occurs very immediately once the light is absorbed it occurs in about 10 power minus 3 second what are the similarities both are non radiative processes the energy is dissipated through collisions as heat thank you for watching